ACS community, as you know, we're talking through parent discipleship over the last few days and weeks, and we're really excited to talk about the third point. We've talked about casting vision and creating a clear definition of what it means to be a man and what it means to be a woman. We've talked about communicating truth. How do we apply biblical truth to everyday life? And the third point is, is we need to champion service as parents. Uh, I mentioned in the first session that our favorite verse is Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, about doing nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility counting others better than yourselves. And so it's important for us to champion service. We live and I look out for number one, but don't step in number two generation. And that is, we're always self-centered and we're, we're geared to be self-centered. Social media helps us even more and hurts us even more to be self-centered. And we also really don't want to get our, our hands and feet dirty. And that's not what the gospel says. The gospel is, a, is messy. Uh, we understand our own sin and we understand who Jesus is and what he's done for us. And it, as a response to the gospel, we want to go out and serve. And it's messy. We understand that. And as families, we've got to be willing to get in the mess. Not only our own mess and deal with our own mess, but we have to get out and serve in the mess as well. And so we're excited to have the opportunity to talk about being a champion of service. And one of those things that I... I always want to talk to parents about is that service starts at home. We have to understand that one of the greatest things that dads can do is serve. Serve their spouse, serve their children, serve in, in whatever that way that looks like. I mean, I am not a fan of doing the dishes, trust me. Uh, but for me to do that one simple act and engage our kids in helping mom do that, it's very, very important because one of the things that I don't think that our kids understand is how much work really goes into parenting and being parents. And if we're launching these kids off at 18 and 19 years old for this next season of life, and they're hopefully not ever moving back into our house, they need to understand what a gospel-centered view of marriage and a gospel-centered view of parenting looks like. And that starts at home. And so I would encourage you to model that. Don't cast a vision for something you're not willing to model yourself. And that's a very important point for us to understand. The second thing is we need to rally together as a family and have service projects. We need to serve together as a family because if they just see mom and dad going and doing their own thing and not being engaged in that, then why would they have any interest in serving? Think of the, the magnitude of what could happen in our city, in our country, in our world if we focus as families on serving together. There could be families and, and children and families that could literally move back to Memphis just to serve in the ministry because they've, they've served alongside their parents for so many years. Or they could move to another country and live out the gospel there because God calls them to a ministry that maybe they've gone on a mission trip or maybe they've served there. So I would encourage you this week to find a local service project where you can serve together and live out the gospel, whether that's serving a neighbor in need, whether that's trying to help out financially with a ministry in town. These are very, very difficult times and there are a lot of opportunities to serve. So I would encourage our ECS community, starting with families and broadening out as a greater ECS community, how can we serve? It's a great day to be an ECS Eagle.